The hunter seems to work alone, stalking the wilderness with a rusty shotgun and a lantern-style flashlight. His motives are unknown, but he does appear to have an interest in taxidermy. And that is all we have to go off of on the hunter when it comes to Little Nightmares canon. Though I don't think that's all the developers have put into this character. There's a story we, as an audience, are not seeing despite it being put right in front of our faces. So join me, my fellow Little Nightmares fans, as we delve into who is the hunter. The wilderness, an isolated and safe place away from the Pale City. It's why we find Mono and other children fleeing into it when the signal tower begins warping reality, and possibly is the reason the hunter calls it home. Seems to work alone implies that the hunter is the only living thing left in his household. No dogs despite there being a dog door, no family, at least anymore. The interest in taxidermy may be used to help stave off any loneliness he might feel, at least for the most part. Now if he truly wanted to be alone, wouldn't the hunter have just never made a family? In any sense of the meaning? Instead of we see several bodies spread across the home, not bagged and ready for burial, but seated and at peace. Some better taken care of than others, though possibly not due to the hunter's best efforts in rebuilding them. Now I believe the hunter was aware of what was happening in the Pale City, of what was happening to the citizens, and that he wanted nothing to do with it. I believe this because when we explore his home, we find not a single TV within it, but instead they are scattered across the wilderness and as far away from the cabin as possible. This tells me the hunter was probably the first, and sadly only, human to piece together what was happening with the TVs, their broadcast, and its effect. His family, having been affected by the signal, became hostile and violent towards him, tried to force him to watch the broadcast. So the hunter did what was necessary for his own survival, and in a fit of grief afterwards, tried to undo it. That's why some taxidermied people in the home look more... human... than others. And why he dons the sack over his head. The family having attempted to get him to view the broadcast left him with a distorted face, but an untainted mind. His actions, his will, his wants, are all still his. And I believe that is why Six is still alive. He would still be human, for the most part. He would want company, and when he found Six, she was his second chance at having a family. So when she ran away with Mono, the hunter just couldn't bear the thought of being alone again. I won't say the hunter was a good guy, but possibly a victim. Not just of the broadcast, but of showing kindness to Six.